Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Console Carrie here, bringing you another episode of Nintendo Talks Rags to Riches Challenge. Here are the rules. Here are the classes and the in-game objectives. We are on the island of folklore. Yes, we are still a farmer. Here are the exceptions to help us make those 20 million bells. Well, we have been doing a camping series with a domino effect that's doing everything except for camping, decorating the campsite. I wanted the campsite to be in a certain space and have a certain way about it. I wanted a floating campsite and in order which it makes it huge, makes it huge. And one idea led to another, one inspiration led to another and I domino affected into doing a bunch of terraforming instead of actually decorating a campsite. We moved our campsite up um, where I originally wanted it to be, up kind of in the middle, upper part of the map. And because of that, we had to move Blathy and pretty much everyone, <laughs> except for me and the villagers, um, had to move pretty much everyone to... Uh, the right in order to accomplish this. What else is this going to accomplish? It's going to help me fix my water that is sorely wrong. <laughs> it just needs help. Um, it's also going to fix some of the flow of the island, some of the pathing, the way we come to everything. So we're pretty much making a business market in the upper right corner. Um, and then we have the villagers on the upper left corner, and then everything in the front is going to be um, produce, flowers, etc., etc. So the my series has been not a, really about camping, but <laughs> about getting ready for camping. So uh, I apologize for that, <laughs> that I have drugged this on, but... Uh, I promise you, today, we are going to decorate the campsite. I have some things collected. Clearly, I'm not deep into the game, so I don't have a ton of items, but I do have quite a bit, and I think we can make a cute little campsite. Um, it's huge. It's not little. It's huge. <laughs> and would I like it to be bigger? Yes, I would. I would actually like it to be one square bigger. <laughs> As you can see, we've got shooting stars tonight. I thought it would be fun to do this under a, I thought it was a full moon, but that looks like a three-quarter moon to me. Uh, looks like the stars have finally died down. You know how it goes. There's always some kind of distraction here on folklore when we're trying to get business done. Isn't it a pretty sky, though? And we're getting quite a few stars. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to pick up a bunch of stars on the beach. We're getting a lot, actually. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. <laughs> All right, so we may have to periodically stop and and wish upon the stars. What would be your wish? Tell me in the comments. What are your wishes? All right, all right, we've done quite a few. All right, so I'm standing in the back side of the campsite. Um, we've got these floating um, platforms, not sure, <laughs> plots of land, not sure really what to call them. And then we have, we haven't finished terraforming. Uh, last time we talked, I said I was gonna do a bunch of terraforming and I have, um, I've got my front area, Almost done. Um, I need to build this out a bit. Um, these two in the front are going to be an entryway, decorated as an entryway. And then on the sides will be my six rock garden. Um, a rock garden containing six rocks. Um, it's going to take me a while to accomplish this. <laughs> and they're all three by three 
Why is that? Well, you're just going to have to wait until I actually get a rock on one of these, and I will demonstrate to you why I wanted it to be 3x3. Three three. So we're also going to do some other decorating, um, maybe some flowers and trees on these extra um, floating landforms, I guess you would call it. Um, the biggest problem I had when we talked last um, was this corner right here, and I had a, if I go all the way down, you can see, I had a ramp, or a bridge right here, and it was in the way, it wouldn't let me terraform this corner out, but I ended up terraforming it into a cascading waterfall, which I absolutely love, um, is it permanent, who knows, <laughs> but for now, I really like it, and I think it fixes my water problem. Um, and actually, I just couldn't visualize it. But now, after the fact, I might be able to put the bridge back, but just have it like right on the edge, like right here. Um, that's really kind of how the flow is. And then you come back here and back to Blabby. So, and there's one of our rocks <laughs> in the wrong spot. This waterfall is humongous. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or I might extend it down and into the river somehow. It might come down here. I don't know. I'm still figuring that out, but let's get back to business. We're taking a break from terraforming. Do we have more to do? Yes, <laughs> but we got a good amount done. Oh, I didn't uh, get that star. Didn't get that star. There's one. Um, but we're going to take a break and, and have some fun because I've drugged this out way too long on the videos. And we're going to get to decorating. So where should we start? <laughs> First thing uh, maybe is uh, my pockets are full of coconut trees. So maybe we put some coconut trees down. Which means starting in this back 40, I think I'm going to put a tree in each of the center of these. So we at least need one sand spot, but let's start construction so we can do that. And I'm going to pull up the sand. So we could do one like that and then have some flowers around it, or we could maybe do one that's off to the side. No, you got to have, I could do something like this. And then maybe put the tree. Maybe put the tree there? He, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it would even let me. I would have to make this square, I think. It'd have to be like this. Yeah. Well, that's cuter than just nothing. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to put some flowers around it, so um, this is better than just putting it all the way around. A bit of sand. We could try it. We could do some different things and then decide later which one we like the most. So that's kind of cute, like a little bit of sand spillage. Or we can do one that's just one dot of sand. I probably don't even need a shovel right here, but do something like that, or we could make the whole thing sand. Hmm. 
round off the corners. Why don't I use my wheel? Because I'm dumb. That's not, because I keep forgetting to. That's why habits. So we could do something like that. We could do something where it's just build there, like that. Um, what else can we do? Um, we need to put one more tree down. And it has to be in the middle because you need at least one space around a tree. Can I round this off? I can, I can. Here's another idea. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Oh, what if I did that? Yeah. This came up with another idea. If I can get Mini Me to do it. <laughs> so we're just kind of experimenting what looks good. And I think I have too many trees in my pockets, but okay, so here's a couple ideas. There's this one, just build to the right. Nothing, everything, half. What do you guys think? You know what might look better is this way, too. If I put it this way, the sand this way. Um, it still would be off-centered, though. So... Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Which one? One, two, we'll number it from left to right. One, two, three, or four. Which one do you like the best? All right, so this is going to be rock garden, so we're not going to do anything here. Oh, um, what I'm thinking <laughs> before I move on, I'm going to put some flowers down here. So we'll just have to gather some up. So these three are going to be the rock garden, part of the rock garden. So we're not going to do anything there. This is an entrance. This entrance and this entrance. And then those three on the side, which I haven't finished terraforming this out. This is another corner problem I got to fix. Um, but these three areas right here, those are going to be part of the rock garden. So we really just need to decorate these two front, the entrance. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking either two more. Let's see if I can find my stuff here. I'm thinking either two more coconut trees in the front. I was also toying with... Um, if I can find it, I will tell you. Oh, here. Palm lamp, palm tree lamp. Where did it go? It was here a second ago. Oh, maybe it's in the front here. Sorry, I'm probably driving you crazy. <laughs> oh, there it is. Decayed tree. So this is a new DIY item that I've gotten recently. And I've never really used it. I don't know if I've ever even gotten it before. But let's find it and place it down. See what it looks like. Hmm, It's got a nice shadow on it. Oh, well, it seems to need a lot of space. <laughs> I can't even move it over. Wow. Okay. Well, that might not work for me. <laughs> I like symmetry. 
Yeah. It does not like it. Not one single bit. Okay, so I could do that. Campsites are kind of off the beaten path. But you wouldn't be able to decorate anything. I don't like it. All right. The other idea I have. Let's see if we can find our palm lamps. And we find them here. Okay. Same thing with this. It doesn't give you much room. You wouldn't be able to decorate anything hardly. I think a better place for those is going to be back here. Maybe in the back. And just, it seems to need quite a bit. Well, let me push it in the corner. And I need to customize these. Which we'll talk about in a minute. But we'll just get them out of the way for now. They were customized because I stole them from someone's yard. <laughs> they were already customized. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool. It gives it some more light. All right, so I think what we're going to do here... Sorry, fishy. We scared the fish. I think we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a sand spot. I think we need more than just a little dot of sand. I think we need to go like this. And round the corners. Or maybe I'll do both scenarios. Let's see. Not there, but I want it in the middle. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to put, oh, I don't have it in my pockets. Let's find our mascot. Did I bring these over here? I might already have them in my pocket. Okay, yeah, I have it on me. I must, I must. Oh, I really like this. Okay. We're going to put Mrs. Flamingo down. We'll put her in the front here. And we got a tiki torch. We'll go ahead and put that right there. Turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> And then we'll do like some flowers or something here. Uh, I was thinking, you know how I love these red bushes? Though pink would look better with Mrs. Flamingo. But that'll kind of depend on what's in season. And then I was thinking it'd be cute to... Actually, no, I don't want to do it like this. I want to put a one of these pink flowers down. Wow, that looks huge there. Is that right? <laughs> okay, okay. And then we'll do a bush. And then I was thinking of doing... Oh, I don't have it on me. Putting a hedge down under it. So, trying to get some layering going here. Something like that. Something like that. And then 
we'll figure a couple flowers out to to put here. We could put um, maybe a hyacinth down. It looks kind of heavy on the left side. Maybe we get rid of, oh, I can't even, I can't even hop there on there. That's okay. Oh no, I picked my hydrangea, I ruined it. All right, I have more, I'll go get more. I'll go get more. And I'm not sure about those red bushes. That might be the wrong thing. Okay, over here, the other entrance, I'm thinking a path that goes like this. Let's see what we think. Actually, I'd want it to come over here. And then plant our tree down here. And then I think I have Mr. Flamingo in here somewhere. Yep. There you are. Mr. Flamingo, and then the, the other Tiki Torch. Do we have that on us? Yes, we do. Let me light that up. And then... We plant this flower here, and then we are blue hyacinth. And maybe a bush right here. That gives some dimension. I have room for one more flower right here, or a place to land there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're thinking, how it looks. What do you guys think? Hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's a good start. It'd be nice to put a sign in. That might come later. All right, that's a good start. We'll come back to that. Um, the next thing we need to do, we've started on this campsite. Um, I want to customize these. So let's go find our DIY bench. And our customize boxes. We'll just do it right back here. Where did it go? Did I not pick it up? Or did I blow right past it? Huh. I don't think I picked it up. You guys do that? 
Oh no, I'm being summoned <laughs> by Gonzo, no less. And of course, a balloon. If you need balloons, start up your construction. That's how you get balloons. <laughs> Distractions. I'm pretty, and it was just a plant. It will come in useful. It will be useful at some point. Okay. So someone in one of the videos said that you cannot customize something that's already been customized. And I'm here to prove you wrong. <laughs> so here's the palm tree, the lamp, the palm tree lamp. I've customized it to a certain color. So we're going to click on it. It's available. And as you can see, it starts out where you customized it, but it's still allowing me to change it. So we got a lot of yellow. We got a lot of orange. We could do this, and I think this is the original. We could do tropical. We could do pink. <laughs> I love the blue, <laughs> which is what it is now. Um, but I'm kind of thinking the campsite's going to have a bunch of pink flowers on it. So I think I'm going to go with either this or this. <laughs> do Should we do this one or this one? Tropical, I'm thinking the pink. And I think the, the other one I think might be that yellowish color. So we'll have to customize it too. All right, so we're going to customize something else. This other lamp, and as you can see, it's at natural. So we're going to make it pink so you can in fact customize something that has previously been customized now some things you can't customize you just can't it's not even an option so i get that maybe the thing you were trying to customize it wasn't so much that you couldn't re-customize it but it was one of the items that is not customizable <laughs> Is that clear as mud? <laughs> All right. Oh, I think that's really pretty, the pink. I don't think we need our DIY bench. And maybe we need to put something underneath here. What do you guys think? Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, and I think the green would be too much with the palm trees behind it. I'm just not sure if I should maybe put some dirt underneath it. I might. Let's do that. Let's put some dirt down. All right, that looks kind of cool and natural, huh? I like it. Let's do it to the other side. And I'm kind of thinking the dark dirt, I was going to do light dirt, but I'm kind of thinking the dark dirt fits a campground more. Campgrounds are usually off the beaten path and dirty. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not much of a camper? <laughs> What about you guys? Do you like to camp in real life? Is that a thing for you? Is it fake clamping? You know, glamping? <laughs> uh, I like to do hotel camping. <laughs> that's super fun. But you do miss out on things when you do that. All right, that's looking good. Um, I was also thinking of putting... Mm-hmm. 
Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Is this it? No. Clay furnace. Okay, I was also thinking of putting the clay furnace back here. Like it could be a little cooking area. So maybe one. I think it needs three. Does it need three? I'm big on symmetry. I think symmetry makes it look organized and planned out. Though a campsite usually isn't that way, but in my world it is. <laughs> so we could do the clay furnace here. Yeah, that looks good. It centered it perfectly. And it gives you a little bit of fire. You can stand here and cook. And I like how there's some grass. It's not taking over the whole thing. Although I'm in September, have you noticed? Have you noticed my grass <laughs> looks a little more yellow? So we're going into fall. We are, we are. All right. And then, oh, I forgot to get that clothesline. Dang it. Um, Let's get our, let's go to our house. I need to run to my house and get a clothesline. I'll just have you come with me. Did you see my ugliest villager? <laughs> I've been calling him Scotch Tape. <laughs> he looks like he's been Scotch Taped together. All right. Housewares. I believe it's in Housewares. Yeah, there it is. Clothesline. I'm not sure about any plants just yet. I think we've got the stools we need. I think we'll just stick with that. I might regret it. <laughs> I'll run back over to the campsite. And yeah since we're passing by it big news big change oh man shooting stars uh, big change nooks has moved they've been relocated they've been in this spot for a very long time i know it's huge where did i move it if you saw the map you probably figure it out but that will be for another video All right, so what I was thinking is, this is the tent when there's someone here. So you don't necessarily need, it'd be cool to have another tent, but I don't have any. I'm in September, so I haven't gotten any of the toy tents, but I was thinking maybe a clothesline here. And I need to wait until I get like maybe the wash basin. I'm not sure, we need to figure that out. But I thought that would be cute. And then we'll have to figure something out for this side. I do want to put, let's see, we need to put some more dirt down. So we'll put two, three, maybe four. Yeah, in, because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I want to put a, a bridge right there. And I don't know, this might even get wiped out. Usually a bridge likes to have a space on each side, huh? Let's make it one shorter. We'll go to here. And go too wide so we can round it off. We're just going to kind of frame the front. Um, we need to take a step back. Oh, not logs. Log stake. We'll push that forward and over. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't round it off right there. So stakes are in there. I could round the rest of it. 
or maybe just round the back side. Maybe we do that. That's not bad. I may take the roundy out completely when I got to step back. For some reason, it needs lots of space. Log stake down. And I may customize them later. I don't know. I kind of like the dark brown for a campsite. So it would be two stakes, I think. Let's get rid of that one. Push it all the way over. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, and they're in the same direction. I think it looks kind of cool for it to be opposite. See how it kind of lines up better? I don't know. Is it just me? But I think it. It's more interesting when they're opposite. It makes kind of like a little fence. I might, yeah, I don't think this rounding's doing anything for us. So we'll take that out. And we might do a corner. Might do a corner here of log stakes. Let's see. We made a few. Do we have more? We do, we do. So we're standing too close. Yeah, that doesn't line up very good. What about if we rotate it? If we rotate, I think it might. No, it doesn't want to push. Okay, I don't really have room for that, I think. I think we'll just do the front. And then, and I think we might leave that part dark so that we can put something else there. We're doing a three by three. <laughs> it seems to be the way with this campsite. Okay, and then I have more log stakes. For this side, we maximize our space. I need two more, two more, two more. No. <laughs> Do we not have any more? We got a bunch of stools. More stools, more stuff. More stools. All right, we need to make, do I have any hardwood on me? Of course not. Guess what? We need to go back to our house. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if we can work on something else first. Where is the campfire? There it is. We'll place a little campfire here. And a stool. We got lots of those. Another stool here. Uh-oh. This might be a little tight. Okay, I can get on there. Okay, it's accessible. We'll put one more right here. You got to test these things out. Yeah, yep, we can access all that. And then I thought over here, we really need those log stakes. <laughs> all right, instead of making you watch me go back to my house, I'm going to go get some wood and be right back. Okay, I made the wood stakes. We're good to go.
Let's not stand too close. You know something funny that happened just now? Um, these wood stakes come up dark wood. And so in my mind, I thought I need hardwood. <laughs> but you don't. You actually, all you need is regular wood. Not softwood, not hardwood, just regular wood. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Hello mind game on myself there so oh well, looks like i only needed one more or did i put two down and i just made too many <laughs> i don't know all right we're th i was thinking the campfire could be here and um i could get another one of those and put it over here but i kind of like this idea of you know if you want to roast some marshmallows you come over here let's get that let's get some more stools out i think i have some over here i have a ton of them sleeping bag bird bath log stool Log stool. I'd like to have three. I'd like to have three. And I have three. Nice. All right. Where did they go? It must be up here. And I was standing too close. <laughs> what do you guys think about the color? Would the white look better? It kind of stands out more against the dirt. I could customize all this to be white. Um, or maybe do a mixture of the two. What do you, what do you guys think looks good? There. That's got symmetry. It has a little bit of variance. If you want to roast marshmallows, you come over here. If you just want to sit by the campfire and sing songs, you come over here. If you want to wash your clothes from camping, you come here. And I need something. You know what we need is a washer and dryer. <laughs> no, not when you're camping. We need a wash bin. I'll have to work on that. And then here, I'm not sure what to put. I have a picnic basket. I got another bench. What else do I have? Did I look at this stuff? I got lantern, a decayed tree. I'm not crazy about that decayed tree. It takes up too much space. We got a camp stove. Do we really need another cooking thing? We've got two already. Oh, sleeping bag. Yes. What if... Yeah, I want to... I want to... I have that sign. I want to customize it. I don't know if we're going to get to that today. Yeah, what if you have... A fight with your buddy or your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, whatever friend, <laughs> and you don't want them to sleep in the tent with you, <laughs> so they gotta sleep. Or maybe there's an extra, maybe you got an extra guy, extra friend, they can sleep over here. Yeah, that sounds good. And then maybe. They got to be able to see. Maybe you put that in up here. They got to be able to see. They can read. Whatever. Maybe even. Hmm. Maybe even.
see. I think I got a little camp stove over here. Maybe they have some dietary restrictions and they don't want to eat your food. <laughs> and so, hey, this is the real world. Everybody's a mess. Maybe they want to make their own food. Well, that didn't work out very good, did it? They want their own little camping cooking area. It makes it a little awkward getting past here. I got an idea. What if you put a bench I just happened to have this log bench was taking up a lot of room so I took it out but what if you center a bench and he puts all his crap on that does he need a stove or does he need a picnic basket I'm thinking a picnic basket we've already got two cooking devices he needs to just suck it up and eat with the rest of us. <laughs> and then he'll have his little sleeping bag right next to it. So it'll be kind of like uh, having a nightstand, only in camping style. Yeah. I like that. I think this is looking good. I need something here, but I just don't have it. I have this plant. This house plant we could put there. Maybe they brought a little touch from home. Yeah. All right. That's all I have in my inventory that I, I think would look good. I got more stools. I have these signs that I was, there's a bird bath, log stool, simple kettle. Okay, here's one idea. We could have a little stool right here. We're waiting for our clothes to dry. <laughs> Maybe you have a timeout. There's also a bird bath. Where would that look good? and not block everything. Maybe over here. Ooh, or maybe in the front, maybe in the entrance. Do you guys get excited when you get an idea? Maybe right here. Yeah, okay. And then I don't know where, if I put a sign, I'm not sure where I would put it. I mean, there's not really, I've got a bunch of other stuff going on. If I move this forward, you wouldn't even be able to see it. Yeah, it won't even. This sign, okay, this sign, I think, that's for indoors only. But I have another sign, a shop sign, that you could put a design and it could be like, welcome to the campsite. But you can't see it there. <laughs> um, you'd have to push Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. All right. Uh, yeah, maybe this bird bath isn't such a good idea. <laughs> All right, we'll have to figure this out. we got to figure the entrance out. We'll do that. If you guys have found any really cool camp signs that isn't the official camp sign let me know uh, we are going to end this video with 
Because we are coming up on 50 minutes, all right. The time goes by so ba fast. I think this looks really cool, though. I think it looks good. It's a little cluttered, but I think it looks good. Um, we need to figure out the entry. So what we're going to do to end this, we are going to go by our bridge. I'm actually waiting for the moment that Blather says, uh, you have too many bridges and inclines. <laughs> I have no idea how many I have. Do I have money? Any? Oh, yeah, I have money. Thank God. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm not going to say what should I do. I'm going to say let's talk infrastructure. Breaking bad habits. <laughs> I need a bridge. Let's build a bridge. Please, 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 will you let me build a bridge? You will. I would love to do a fancy bridge, but not until. Yeah, these are cool. Not until I make my 20 million. I have to settle for a cheapy bridge. Which is still a hundred K. Still a good amount of money. So we might have to do a little terraforming to get this bridge in. We are. We definitely are. And that's why I moved Nooks. I just need to get him out of the way. So it wasn't keeping me from from doing this. But we may need to build this out before we can put it in. Will it let me? Oh, yeah. To place a bridge, you need the river to be just the right width, and the land on either side should be even. So I'm not sure if the log stakes are causing a problem. But I kind of feel like I need to build this edge out. Let's just move these and see if that's what the problem was. No, not there. Yeah, see how it's short? It needs, oh, it's too long. Mmm, it's too long. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, that's no good. I have everything measured out. Hmm. Well, I could do. I could do just like one, two. Could do that. Will that do it? No, I need four. I don't like how close this is becoming. It'd be hard to use a bridge here with the cliff so close. Okay, that's what I suspected. I need to build this out. All right, so I'm going to do a little terraforming off screen, and I'll be right back. Why do you have to be so difficult? All right, so if I do it like this, I'm too close to the cliff. But if I, if I get rid of this and I stick it out the other way, then it would work. I just wouldn't be very happy about it. I don't really like how this looks, but I don't like how close it is to, to this, to the entry <laughs> pads. I could, and I, and I've been having trouble with it being, yeah, it can't be any smaller. I can't have a tree on it. 
So what do I do? <laughs> um, well, I think I'm going to end this video and um, you can come back next time and, re and see what I ended up doing. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We did get some decorating in. We got a good amount of work done on the campsite and we are uh, progressing. Uh, we still have a bit of terraforming to do and and fitting things in. Um, but we need more flowers to decorate and we need those rocks up here. <laughs> So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can see what happens on the next episode of Design My Campsite. Have a great day.